Rangers? Mother will lie say anything about you. Keep an eye. With the godfishers oh, and roots. Oh, yeah. Sorry, partners. Access to this console is restricted by order of the Nancys. W what? No, I, I didn't even realize it. What should I do? Sir, yes, sir. Pressing the button now, sir. I think I did something wrong. I hope the Nancys don't get mad. Rangers, Sister Glory wanted to speak. yet. So that's something. Fantastic. Let me take a look. Super glue. Super glue for wound closures? No shit. Never would have thought of that. Hmm. Pretty sure Forge has got a stash of this stuff. I'm gonna have to give this a try. And it looks like there's lots of other innovations here too. <laughs> Thanks, Rangers. Here's what I promised. And stop by if you need patching up. I'll wave the usual fees. Can't wait to see the look on Forge's face when I gloat to her about snagging this data. Cow. Person. Partner. The second coming is. Oh. Mother will lie to say anything about it. So you got to meet Ronnie face to face. What do you think? Couldn't have said it better myself. Amazing. And looking mighty good for over a hundred, huh? I'm just kidding with you, mostly. Anyway, do you need anything else? Oh, uh, while you were in there, did Mother Reliance say anything about dealing with the gold fishers in the ruins? I mean, I wouldn't say we need it, but, uh, well, we sure could use it. See, the Godfisher's been making camps in the ruins and scavenging in our oil field. Feels like they're fixing to make a move on us. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile, and Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight him. So, well, if you're... Looking for a paycheck. Well, thanks, Rangers. What else uh, can I do for you? You too, right?
Sabotaged. Ronnie's consciousness is safe inside the Western Hail White Grim. House, but our defenses are severely compromised. All givers to arms, defend our God President from any and all invaders. idea about us. I can't say I mind. Let us be underestimated and ridiculed. They think our Ronnie is dead and never coming back, and they are wrong. They accuse us of seeing communists in every shadow, and, well, they are right. But so are we. Make no mistake, dears. We are surrounded by the vestiges of the evil empire. They have turned our great nation Pause. into an irradiated graveyard. And they expect us to weep. But we are steel, sisters. We do not bend, nor do we rust. We endure. So let them laugh at us. We are the wives of the God President, and we will endure until he returns to us. Until then, his great work lies before us, unfinished. We will arm our sons and our daughters and teach them to hunt Blasphemers are often blind to what is right in front of them. Fear not, Rangers. The truth stands. There is no God but Rangers. Cow person? You ain't dead yet. So that's something. Sure thing. Take care. Partner? We're vulnerable till we get Reagan's statue fixed. Stand against us with thy divine lightning. But blow away our foes with thy mighty wings. God's 
gods of the endless sky, accept these holy offerings. Strike down those who stand against us with thy divine lightning. Forge yourself. against us with thy divine lightning. Oh gods, accept this harvest in the spirit it is given. Blow away our foes with thy mighty winds. Gods of the endless sky, accept these holy offerings. Naked to rain gently upon us, but batter our enemies with hail. The time is nearly upon us. Bring your whole team here, then we will proceed. has raised the cry. Sheep and you. Worry not. Your hands may stink me. As far as you can see, anyway. You are blind to the stain of sin. Our pact shall be honored. Now the time for talk is over. We shall make the sinners fly! Indeed. Team November, this is HQ. We had a burst of unusual radio static from the Gipper headquarters. What's your situation? Mother Reliance, the statue of our God President has been sabotaged. Ronnie's consciousness is safe inside the Western White House, but our defenses are severely... As government expands, liberty contracts. So, you're the Rangers. I hear you've been showing the Marshals how it's done. Keep it up and maybe Daddy will make you his chief bootlickers. Well, you can go back and tell Saul I'm staying here. The Gippers are my family now. Huh. 
My father sent me here as punishment for being smarter than him. <laughs> Stupidest thing he ever did. Oh no, tough guy talk. I'm so scared. Oh, you're just like all the lackwits in Colorado Springs. They didn't understand my worth either. They thought I was an idiot like Vic. I'm the foremost tech and computer expert in the world. You name it, I've taken it apart, put it back together, and made it better. As modest as he ever was. He's always been like this. A boaster and a braggart. Just a tiny investment in hardware, and I could have given my father access to all the Hundred Family's records and secrets. No, but he wasn't going to shell out for any tech unless it could kill someone. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> He's blind. All drive and no vision. Liberty attacked Colorado Springs, and the city alarms didn't go off. So he blamed me. He said I fucked up. I didn't fuck up. Those alarms were sabotaged. My sister! She stole the codes from my room before she left! It was her fault, not mine! <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> They're all idiots. They think they're the center of civilization. No, oh, not without oil, they're not. <laughs> Let's see how civilized they are a few months from now. The automated turrets, the protection of the Gipper himself, all the Nancys who swore to defend me. Well, I never claimed to be a fighter, but here, I don't need to be. Not if I see you first. People do rather get the wrong idea about us. I can't say I mind. Let us be underestimated and ridiculed. They think our Ronnie is dead and never coming back. Exemplary work, Rangers. I really didn't think you'd manage to recover the module. But Ronnie said to have faith. Oh my god! You've got it! He also said you convinced those commie robots at the airport to give it to you of their own free will. I don't know why you bothered. Now, before we fulfill our side of the deal, we must complete the transfer. This won't take long. Valor! Prepare the transfer equipment and prepare yourself to receive the God President's holy essence. Soon you will be a living God. Everything is ready, Mother Nancy Reliance. This will be the greatest day of my life! Until the day when you inherit Saul Buchanan's throne, for then it will be the God President who sits in it, thus increasing the holdings of the Gippers a hundredfold in a single stroke. Yeah, my father always said I'd never be a great leader. Ha! I will be the greatest! Your eagerness surprises me, Rangers. But of course, it's natural you would come around. This was Ronnie's divine plan. And you've seen the depravity of the machine commune. Valor, it's time. Now, Rangers, would you be so kind as to start? It will be the most delicious of ironies to have the Patriarch's emissaries give life to the leader who will eclipse him. Just connect the module to this council, and we'll begin. It's ready, Rangers. All you have to do is push the button. This is amazing! I can feel him! I 
can feel his mind all around me. Ignore that. The safety protocols must be turned off for the transfer to begin. What? Stop! What are you doing? You didn't disable the safety protocols. Something is wrong. Ro 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 I'm not... Where am, am I? Rangers, what have you done? Where is my Ronnie? Traitors! Communists!
you what? Don't hurt me! No. No! Copy November 1, this is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. Clear copy November 1. Are there hostiles in the area? Stay frosty, November. From what we're hearing on the radio, you've just kicked a very angry hornet's nest. An extraction team is Oscar Mike, November 1. You'll need to clear a path to Valor Buchanan before we go in.
chatter in your area, November 1. Wants your head. Time to die, Tommy. Got a little blood thing happening. Ready to continue.
executing order.
clicks out. Giving the team the all clear. Congratulations, November 1. Hell of a catch you pulled off. Cowboys, it's Dead Red talking at you again. Come back on our private channel, yeah? Heard you captured Val. Congratulations. Can't say I wouldn't have rather seen him dead in a ditch, but maybe you'll do better next time. At least he's not out there giving people ideas. Boy never was the sharpest tool in the box. But any kid with Buchanan for a last name could be dangerous with a smart operator behind him. And those Gippers may be crazy, but they ain't dumb. You know that old song, The Night Has a Thousand Eyes? Well, so does old Angie. I got an ear at every window and a finger in every pie. Now let's talk about the other one. Damn right, I mean, Vic. A whole lot of innocent people have died thanks to that psycho son of a bitch. He's killed men just to check if his gun is loaded. You'd be doing the world a favor if you made sure he wasn't in it anymore. And how? And I ain't just being vindictive. From a, what do you call it, political perspective, any child of the Patriarch is a destabilizing force on the region. If you want peace in Colorado, the Buchanan brand has got to go. Thank you, cowboys. You're easing my mind. And now I better mosey. I'll be talking to you. Dead red, over and out.
no better feeling than being loved, is there? And that's what this song is all about. Command, calling Team November. Come in. Listen, I tried to put her off, but Mrs. Wong just won't stop calling about this noise. Could you do me a... Don't you try to make it sound like it's nothing. Those kids are driving my cats and me crazy. The kids who broke into Fair and Brago's old club. They're having a dance party in there. Boom, boom, boom. Would you mind checking it out, November? She's not gonna stop calling until you do. I can hear you, you know. Thanks, November. I owe you. What did they say? Are they gonna do it? They better take care of this. I'll write a letter to the paper. All that time with the Gippers couldn't have been good for Val. Oh, <laughs> Well, the crime around here happens indoors. Hmm? Yes? Oh! <laughs> Hello! Uh, you must be the Rangers. I'm Diligent Joe, uh, the Patriarch's personal secretary. I make sure uh, only people who have official business with him get past his door. <laughs> you, uh, due to the importance of your mission, have Mr. Buchanan's leave to enter as necessary. Of course, uh, that privilege could be revoked at any time, but for now, uh, please go on in.
Hello, Joe. Ah, Miss Wesson. You, you have my deepest sympathies on the deaths of your, your family. Thank you, Joe. Good day. Guards who get posted here are so full of themselves. Welcome to the palace, Rangers. Rangers, welcome. How are you settling in? Not at all. Now, what can I do for you? Resolved. How? I'd ask if you could have a fight, but I know better. The boy was always weak. Too many books and computers, not enough sweat and blood. But I suppose I shouldn't be wishing he had been harder to bring in. You brought him back alive, and that's what I wanted. So here's a reward for a job well done. Thank you, Rangers. What else can I do for you? Tell me. Fine. Before you go, thank you for saving that Arapaho caravan. The power armor they were carrying will help keep my marshals safe, which will keep the citizens of Colorado safe. Now get going, and come back with results. <laughs> 